member from Simcoe Gray. Thank you, uh, Speaker. My question is uh, for the uh, Premier. Uh, Mr. Speaker, on October 21st, my office filed a Freedom of Information request with the Higher Education Quality Council of Ontario for the personal expenses of the President, the Director of Corporate Services, and the Director of Research. From 2007 to 2009, the Education Quality Council spent $12,223 on hospitality and catering. Of that, they repaid $1,558 the day after we filed the Freedom of Information request. So my question to the Premier is this. Given your new expense rules, why is it that these items were only repaid after we filed the FOI request? Here. Speaker of the Minister of Training, Colleges and Universities. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. I think members are aware the Higher Education Quality of Council was established as part of the Reaching Higher program. They provide uh, advice on higher education in Ontario. It's an arm's length body of uh, the government and uh, is subject to the rules of government expenses. When the Premier introduced new, tougher rules, uh, HECO, as in other agencies, adopted those rules. But in the spirit of the new rules, they took the extra step of applying them retroactively and reimbursed uh, some of the expenses. As I say, Mr. Speaker, they've embraced the new rules uh, going forward, as have other agencies across the government. Supplementary. Mr. Speaker, one of the expensed items was a $400 engraved watch from Burke's Jewelers. In addition, there was $260 in ineligible alcohol expenses and $769 in reimbursements to agency executives without detailed receipts, all against the new rules. On top of that, the CEO, James Downey, billed a whopping $11,628.29 for a three-month stay at the Sutton Place Hotel. That's over $3,800 a month for a luxury hotel room. So my question to the Premier is this. Who's holding these unelected and mostly unknown government agencies to account? Mr. Mr. Speaker, HECO uh, uh, lines itself with the government directives. When the new policy directives came forward from the Premier, and the Honourable Member is aware of those that came forward several months, it uh, adopted the new tougher rules. And in order, uh, in the spirit of the new rules, they took the extra step of applying them retroactively, and a number of expenses uh, were reimbursed. As I say, Mr. Speaker, HECO has fallen the, uh, the lead of uh, other agencies. I'll remind members of the new policy. The new policy includes new and simplified guidelines for travel, meals, and hospitality expense for all OPS employees, political staff, and employees at Ontario's agencies, boards, and commissions, and HECO has aligned itself with these new directives.